Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of imaginary roots, multiplying and dividing with imaginary root i. So again, let's remember the rules. Now i to the first is really i, i squared is negative 1, i cubed is negative i, and i to the fourth, or i to the zeroth power, is equivalent to just 1. Now, so here's your fun part. You get to multiply with this stuff. So, we're going to take a step back into what we've done before. Now, remember, we multiplied this before by doing either foiling, what I call the Tor attack, or the box method, whichever you like the best. Okay, so I'm going to just Tor attack, or foil. 6 times 3 is 18. 3 times negative 4x is negative 12x. 5x times 6 is plus 30x x, and 5x times negative 4x is negative 20x squared. Okay, Then from there, remember, we combined our like terms. So put this all together. Okay, 18 plus 18x minus 20x squared. And we were done. Okay. Now, we're going to do the same idea over here, but I have to be a little more careful. Let me show you what I mean. We're going to multiply this the same way we did before. Either you can use Torah attack or foiling or the box method, whichever you like the best. So 6 times 3 is 18. 3 times negative 4i is negative 12i. 5i times 6i is 30i. And 5i times negative 4i is negative 20i squared. Now, before we combine like terms with imaginary roots, remember our rule from before in the prior lesson that stated any time you cannot have i with exponents, particularly something like this. Anytime you have an exponent with an i, you have to evaluate it. Now, why do I do that over here, but not way back when over here? Well, that was because I didn't know what x was, okay? We, we know what i is. i is radical negative 1. So we can evaluate that, So okay? So if we remember, i squared is really equivalent to negative 1. So negative 20 times negative 1, okay? So let's piece this all together now. So 18 minus 12i plus 30i. Now negative 20 times negative 1 is positive 20 now. Okay. Now let's finish this off by combining our like terms just like we did in the prior video when we were combining and adding and subtracting um, complex numbers. So here we go. Regular number with regular number. 18 plus 20 is 38. Okay, now, negative 12i plus 30i is plus 18i. And done. And again, people start thinking, well, uh, this looks nothing like this, whereas before it did. But again, remember, this still had an x squared that we knew nothing about. Whereas this guy, we had the i squared, which I know is negative 1, so it allowed us to take this step further and be able to put more things together, okay? All right, so let's look at this next one, okay? Now, for those of you who are interested in the box method, I'll do this one using the box. I'm not a fan of it myself, but, you know, some people are, so. We'll do it up, I'll show you. So you have two minus five i, seven plus three i. Okay, and you just multiply 2 times 7 is 14. 7 times negative 5i is negative 35i. Okay, 3i times 2 is 6i. And 3i times negative 5i is negative 15i squared. Now again, remember, i squared needs to be evaluated, which is really negative 15 times negative 1 or positive 15. Okay, so let's break this out of the box. Combine our like terms. So 
So we have our 14. And we now have our positive 15. 14 and 15 is 29. We have 6i minus 35i, which is negative 29i. And you're done. Okay. All right, let's try this one on your own. See how you do. I'll give you about a minute or so, and then we'll step back. Again, just leave the tape running, and I will catch up with you in a minute, and we will talk about this one. Okay? So, again, good luck. How are we doing? Are we almost ready? No. Okay, this one I'm just going to foil a Torah attack. So here we go. That's going to be negative 16. 8 times negative 3i, negative 24i. Negative 3i times negative 2 is positive 6i. Negative 3i times negative 3i is positive 9i squared. Now remember folks, I've got an i with an exponent. I have to evaluate it. Minus 24i plus 6, whoops, 6i plus 9. And again, i squared, again, is negative 1. Okay, so let's put this all together. Negative 16 minus 24i plus 6i. Now 9 times negative 1 is negative 9. Okay, so let's finish by putting this all back together. So negative 16 minus 9 is negative 25. Negative 24i plus 6i is negative 18i. There it is. All said and done. All right, here's another one. So I'm going to let you try this one on your own and see how you do. I'll give you about a minute or so. So again, let the tape run, and I'll rejoin you when that minute is up, and then we will talk about this one. How are we doing? Just about that time. So, let me get started. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3i, 15i. 5i times 2 is 10i. 5i times 3i is 15i squared. All right, now again, I've got an exponent of i that is much bigger than 1, so we have to evaluate it. 10 plus 15i plus 10i plus 15. Now i squared is negative 1. So I'm going to multiply those. 10 plus 15i plus 10i minus 15. All right, so now let's factor this, or put not factor, but put it all together. So 10 minus 15 is negative 5. 15i plus 10i is plus 25i. And there it is. All right, here's another one. So again, I'll let you try this one on your own. Let's see how you do. Again, leave the tape running. I'll come back in about a minute. We'll talk about this one.
All right, we're back. So let's start off. We're going to multiply this. So negative 2 times 6, negative 12. Negative 2 times negative 2i is positive 4i. 3i times 6 is 18i. Plus 3i times negative 2i is negative 6i squared. All right, so again, I've got an i squared. I need to evaluate it i plus 18i, negative 6 times, now i squared is really negative 1. Okay, so negative 12 plus 4i plus 18i plus 6. Okay, now combine your pieces. So negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6. 4i plus 18i is 22i. Done. That's simple. Piece of cake. Alright, here's another one for you to try. I know this is getting fun. So again, while you're doing this problem, I'll set up for the box, because again, some people like the box method to multiply, so again, I will demonstrate that one again. So while you're working on this, you're going to see the box show up, because I'm going to draw it in. But just keep working. Ignore me. and I'll, We'll come back in about a minute or so, and we'll talk about this one, okay? All right, folks, we're back. Again, as you can see, I drew in the box. So again, let's start to multiply. So 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 7i is positive 28i. Negative 2i times 5 is negative 10i. And negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. And i times i is i squared. Okay, now let's evaluate this. So i squared is really negative 1, so negative 14 times negative 1, which is positive 14 now. All right, so now from here, let's combine our like terms. So 20 plus 14 is 34. Negative 10i plus 28i is plus 18i. And there it is, all said and done. All right, now, I'm going to let you try this one on your own. Now, something a little weird is going to happen on this one, and I'll explain why. So just do this out just like we normally would. Don't, don't think that it's going to go completely crazy on you, but something is going to happen that's a little different, and it's going to be key for the next section that we do. So give this one a whirl and see what happens. And come back in about a minute. So again, just leave the tape running. Alrighty, we're back. I'm going to foil this one out. 5 times 5 is 25. 5i minus 3i is negative 15i. 3i times 5 is positive 15i. So 3i minus 3i is negative 9i squared. Now again, I've got an, an i with an exponent, so we have to evaluate. So this is going to be negative 9 times negative 1. So 25 minus 15i plus 15i. 
and negative 9 times negative 1 is plus 9. Now here's going to be the special part, and this is going to be huge for our upcoming section. Combine our numbers, you get 34. But 15i minus 15i completely cancels, leaving me just the regular number. Now it's going to be huge in the next section that we're into. Dividing with i. Now again, most of you see that, and you think back to before when we had the radicals, and think, well, I'm just going to do this. Oh, times by i, and that's no big deal. The problem is, you can't do that. Okay? You cannot do that at all, folks. Not going to happen. So, what you have to do Remember, folks, this thing has a plus or minus sign in it, which means it is bound as one piece. Okay, So you just can't pick the thing apart and do what you want with individual pieces. You have to do everything. So I still need the i to go away because I'm still dealing with a radical in the denominator. It just hides itself as an i rather than a radical. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're going to use the trick from the previous section or the last problem we did, and we're going to multiply it by its opposite. Okay. So now, top we're going to multiply. 6 times 3 is 18. 3 times negative i is negative 3i. Now on the bottom, we're going to multiply this. So 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times negative i is negative 6i i times 6 is plus 6i. i times negative i is negative i squared. Now, we have to fix all this. Okay. First things first, I've got to back out a little bit. I'm running out of room. Now, first thing I have to do is I have to deal with this negative i. 18 minus 3i over 36 minus 6i plus 6i minus negative 1, because i squared is negative 1. And then I'm just going to fix this, because I have my negative here. Negative with a negative. So that's really just a positive, ain't it? So I'm going to fix that. Okay. And rewrite this again. 18 minus 3i all over 36 minus 6i plus 6i plus 1. Okay. So I'm going to shrink this down more so I can do some more work. All right, so let's clean this up. 18 minus 3i over, now again, we know that these cancel, so let's get rid of that. 36 plus 1 is 37. Okay. Now, then our last step is we've got to try to reduce this. So again, we try to reduce with our heart. Or have something that all three share that we can reduce with. And since they don't share anything, I can't reduce it. So this is your final answer. Now, some folks, when they go to reduce, are going to tell you to do this. And this is perfectly fine too. This is actually the more mathematical way to do this. separate it into the two fractions it is and try to reduce. Well again 18 and 37 can't reduce. 3 and 37 can't reduce. So that's what you're left with. Again both methods are technically correct but this one right here is the more proper way to reduce. Okay. Now with this next one as you may have noticed in the last one there was a lot of work for that one. Okay. So I'm going to teach you a little shortcut for this. Okay. So, we're going the shortcut doesn't start till a little bit later. So again, first thing I see, I see the plus down here. So I'm going to parent the C up. Okay, because I have to have that. So we're going to multiply by the opposite, 2 minus 3i. Okay. So now I'm going to multiply. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 3i is positive 6i. Now, for the shortcut, 
A student of mine many, many, many years ago asked me in my class, this was my first year of teaching, and the student asked me, well, gee, why do I have to multiply the middle terms when I know they're going to go away or cancel out anyway? And I asked her to demonstrate, and she said, well, gee, this is what I would do. Okay, and she used a purple pen, so we're going to use a purple pen just for her. Okay, so she goes, gee, if I do this, I say 2 times 2 is 4. And I do the last pieces, 3i times negative 3i is negative 9i squared. And I said, well, what happened in the middle? She's like, well, you really don't need to do it because it's always going to go away when you have the same pieces but opposite signs. So I said, that's genius. So I dubbed it the Marissa method after her because she was the one who came up with that. Okay, so that method of multiplying first to first, last to last, when you have the same pieces but opposite signs, I call the Marissa method. Okay, now after that, looking at what I have here, I still have to evaluate that. So it's negative 4 plus 6i over 4 minus the negative, no, oh, sorry, hold on, let me step back, getting a little ahead of myself, I'm sorry. So it be negative 9 times negative 1. Okay, so now, negative 4 plus 6i over, this is going to be 4 plus 9 now, because negative 9 times negative 1 is plus. Okay. Now from here, let's combine the bottom. So negative 4 plus 6i over 13. Now again, you can either reduce with your heart, depending on what your teacher says, or I'm going to reduce this in the more mathematical way. 4 over 13 plus 6i all over 13. And again, try to reduce. Well, 4 over 13 has got nothing. 6 and 13 has got nothing. So there it is. All right, now this one's a little bit more fun, and you're going to be grateful that I showed you the MRSA method here, okay? So let's start off. And first thing, I'm going to make this a little smaller because I'm going to need all the room I can get for this. All right, so again, first thing I see, I'm going to put parentheses around both these because they both have plus or minuses in them. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to multiply by the opposite of the bottom, 4 plus 3i. Plus 3i. Okay. So here we go. We're going to tore attack the top. Now I can't use Marissa method on the top because of the fact that they're not the same pieces and they don't have opposite signs. So we go 2 times 4, 8. 2 times 3i is 6i. 3i times 4 is 12i. 3i times 3i is plus 9i squared. Now, on the bottom, I'm going to go over to purple here, and we can do the Marissa method. 4 times 4 is 16. Negative 3i times positive 3i is negative 9i squared. Okay. Now, again, do not think for one moment that just because you have negative 9i's and a positive 9i squared like these guys right here. Just because you think you have this and this that they're going to cancel. Same thing with 8 and 16. You cannot cancel these because of all these plus or minus symbols. These are one piece, remember. Okay, so here we go. But I do have to evaluate them. Okay. So 8 plus 6i plus 12i plus 9 times negative 1 over 16 minus 9 times negative 1. And again, as tempting as it is with this and this, we cannot reduce this at all because of this minus, this plus, this plus, and that plus. Okay, so don't get any bad ideas, but we can evaluate these. Okay, so 8 
plus 6i plus 12i minus 9 over 16 plus 9. So let's put this all together. 8 plus, minus 9 is negative 1. 6i plus 12i is plus 18i over 25. Now again, depending on your teacher, they may say reduce with your heart. Okay, which again, I can't reduce anything in there. Or they may say, well, let's pull this thing apart and see what happens. 25 plus 18i all over 25. And again, nothing happened in there either. So it really doesn't matter. We were pretty much stuck where we were. All right, so I'm going to let you try this one on your own. I'm going to give you about a minute to work on it. So again, leave the tape running. I'm going to kind of move some pieces around a little bit for me so I'll have plenty of room to work. Okay, so while you're working on the problem, I'm going to be moving some things around. Okay, so good luck. I'll come back to you in about a minute, and we'll talk about this one. All right, how are we doing? We ready? All right, so we're going to start. So again, parenthesis up. I see plus or minuses. We need to parenthesis up. So here we go. 3 plus 3i. Three, 3 plus 3i. Three, okay. So now let's tor attack the top. So... Get 18 plus 18i plus 6i. Whoops, I'm kind of all over the place here. Make that, that looks terrible. And start that again. That looks terrible. We gotta fix it. Okay, so 18 plus 18i plus 6i. And 2i times 3i is plus 6i squared over, I'm going to use Marissa method on this, so 3 times 3 is 9, negative 3i plus 3i is negative 9i squared. Okay, so now, let's take a look at this, because... We need to evaluate the i squareds. So 18 plus 18i plus 6i. Now again, that's going to turn to negative 1, remember. Okay, so 6 times negative 1 is just negative 6. Now again, this again also turns to negative 1. So negative 9 times negative 1 is positive 9, so 9 plus 9. Alright, so now let's combine our like terms. So 18 minus 6 is 12. 18i plus 6i is plus 24i, all over 18. Now, if we reduce with our heart, you're going to notice that all three of these pieces share a multiple of 3. So I can cancel, drop this to 4, this drops to 8, and this drops to 6. And then if I look again, I could have taken even more, couldn't I? I can take it out another 2. So again, I can drop that again to 2, this drops to 4, this drops to 3. So 2 plus 4i over 3. Or, or if you're doing this the, the long way, 24i, let me reset it a little bit, all over 18. We separate it. 12 over 18 plus 24i all over 18. 
then we reduce the fractions individually. So here I can reduce by 6 2 thirds. So 2 thirds plus. Now here I can reduce again by 6. I get 4 thirds. So plus 4i over 3. Again, the answers do look different, but they're really the same. Just this one's more put together. That's all. All right, folks, here's our next one. So I'll, I'll do this one with you. All right, so first things first. Again, I see plus or minus size, so I'm going to parenthesis up around that. Okay, so now let us see what we can do with this. Okay. So again, we're going to do by the opposite, so 4 minus 5i, 4 minus 5i. All right, so let's distribute. So negative 3i times 4 is negative 12i. Negative 3i times negative 5i is positive 15i squared over, now underneath, Marissa method, 4 times 4 is 16, 5i minus 5i, or 5i times negative 5i is negative 25i squared. Alright, so now I've got to evaluate the i squared as negative 1s, negative 1. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be negative 12i minus 15 over, now this is going to turn into 16 plus 25, okay, so let's put this together, now again proper form dictates, so we're going to do negative 15 plus 12i all over, and that's going to be 41, Okay, now time for reducing, so we can either try to reduce with our heart, which again, between 15, 12, and 41 don't share anything, so you'd be done there. Or if your teacher says you need to break this part, negative 15 all over 41, plus 12i all over 41, and then try to reduce, but you still can't get anything, so that's the way it stays, folks. All right, so I'll let you try this one on your own. Let's see how you do. And again, while you're working on it, I'm going to move some pieces around so I can have some room to work. So again, I'll give you about a minute, minute and a half or so, and then we'll get going on this. So good luck. Alrighty, here we are. So again, we're back. First thing I see, plus or minus is between the pieces, so I immediately parenthesis up. So now again, we're going to multiply it by the opposite. So it's going to be negative 2 minus 3i. We only do the one in the middle. Negative 2 minus 3i. Alright. So here we go. So let's do this up. Let's multiply this. We're going to have to tore our tack or foil or box or whatever you use. So it's going to be negative 8. 4 times negative 3i is negative 12i. Negative 5i times 2 is positive 10i. Negative 5i times negative 3i is positive 15i squared over... Now again, Marissa method for the bottom, negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. 3i minus 3i is negative 9i squared. Okay. Alright, so now my next step. Let's evaluate these guys. This turns to negative 1. And again, negative 1. 
negative 1. Okay, and then this guy right here. Okay, turns to negative 1. So negative 1. Okay, so here we go. Let's fix this. So negative 8 minus 12i plus 10i minus 15 over 4 plus 9. Okay, let's combine our like terms. So negative 8 minus 15 is negative 23. Negative 12i plus 10i is negative 2i all over 13. Now our last step, try to reduce with your heart if your teacher allows you to do something like that. But obviously, 23, 2, and 13 don't share anything, so you would be done. Or if your teacher tells you you got to take it apart, 23 over 13 minus 2i all over 13. And try to reduce, so 23 and 13 has got nothing. 2 and 13 has got nothing, so again, you would be done. So this is the end of this video. So hopefully you've learned a lot about imaginary roots and how to process them. So we will see you next time.